All right, guys, quick talk through video here. We are dealing with an IXL skill on interpreting bar graphs. We're going to start first by looking at our example that is provided to us. Um, this is there for you too on the first question that you do. I always encourage you guys to take a look at that. Um, so our question here says that the school cafeteria asks students about their favorite sandwiches before updating the lunch menu. Gives us some details about ham, chicken salad, peanut butter, and cheese, and then some numbers comparing lower elementary students, think like kindergarten, first, second grade, to upper elementary students, think third, fourth, and fifth graders. Um, and it says, which bar graph shows the same data? So these are double bar graphs here. Green is representing the lower elementary. Blue is representing the upper elementary. I can use that key to help me. That's going to be there in most graphs, most bar graphs that you look at. And sometimes it's even going to be color coded, especially when we have a double bar graph. Um, so I'm going to start just by looking at my first row. Ham is 10 and 60. So I'm looking for something that matches. Ham goes to 10. Ham goes to 60. That's good. Chicken salad is 20 and 50. I'm going to look up to 20 and I can see over on my Y axis that that goes up to the right amount. And the upper elementary goes up to 50. So far, so good. Peanut butter is 10 and 40. I get to 10 and I get to 40. Three for three so far. But remember, in order for it to be accurate, all four of my categories have to match. Cheese is 30 and 70. So I'm going to look here. Cheese goes to 30 for lower elementary and to 70 for upper elementary. So if I'm looking at these bar graphs, this first bar graph that I looked at was correct. Now I can look at these other ones and realize, hmm, this one doesn't seem right. Oh, cheese only goes to 10 for lower elementary. Well, if you remember, cheese needs to go to 30. So it's really about just paying close attention to detail. Um, so we know what our solution is supposed to be. Now we can get back to some practice. So I have a horizontal bar graph here because my lines are going horizontally like the horizon where the sun comes up and I'm trying to match it to a table. So I have the George Washington bridge is $9. The golden gate bridge is $5 and the Oakland Bay bridge is $6. So I'm going to start just by picking the first bridge, George Washington bridge. And I'm looking for that to be equal to $9 in my table. Well, if I look at this first table, George Washington Bridge says eight. So I already know without a shadow of a doubt that this first table is trash. I'm going to slash it out because I know that that can't be a solution. If I look at this one, I see nine, I see five, and I see six, just like I'm supposed to. So I'm going to click on this table and I'm going to click submit. Um, I am just thinking here, we'll do one more. Okay. So now I'm going the opposite direction. I have a table and I need to match this to a graph, just like we did in that first example talk through. So stuffed animal collections, Abe has 30, Adam has 20 and Alan has 70. So I'm going to look here. Abe goes up to 70. Well, Abe only has 30, so this one can't be right. And I'm going to follow that tried and true practice of crossing off what I know isn't correct. And then I'm going to take a look here. Abe is 30. Adam is 20. That matches up. That's really good. And Alan is 70. If I slide over, yep, it's 70. I'm going to select that bar graph and click submit. All right, I hope this video helps. Follow the directions on the page earn the smart score that you need. Thanks, guys.